What's up everybody? John here with another video for those of you that are looking to get a job on board a cruise ship. And this video's topic is going to be one that has been requested quite often. I always get this request and people have a lot of questions about this specific topic. So I figured I'll make it into a video and I'll try to do my best to explain it in a short amount of time so that hopefully uh, you can kind of get a good idea of what to expect. This is going to be all about relationships uh, on board a cruise ship. Now, I don't know, again, a lot of people, like their main thing is, hey, when I go on a cruise ship, can I uh, sleep with my fellow crew member? The answer is yes. It's that simple. Um, it's, it's not that simple because obviously it's like on land, you have to still, you know, go through, you know, the process of, of getting to know the people. Um, I'm not saying that you go on and everybody just likes to get, like, to get with each other and it's like a giant orgy. It's, it's not. Um, maybe at some point in time it was, but I, my experience at least, when ships that I've worked on, it's not. <laughs> it's not just like a big love fest. Uh, however, it happens. It happens a lot. So, okay. So, to, let, let's, let's start. Let's, let's try to get a little, a uh, little, a little bit here. Okay, so a lot of people ask. Okay, when I'm on a ship, uh, am I allowed to get with my fellow crew members, or is there like an abstinence policy? It's like, no, there's not. You can do whatever you want as long as it doesn't interfere with your job. So, um, if you are planning on courting someone to get into get under the sheets with them, then just make sure that it's not the person that you work with every day. Because if something does go wrong, then that's going to cause a problem for everybody. So there's a there's a saying that says, you don't shit where you eat, which I think fits for this. So excuse my language, um, but I just would say that if you do plan on getting romantically involved with someone, to try to make it somebody that you don't work directly with all the time. Uh, if you can do it with somebody that's not in the same department of you as you, even better. Then it bridges departments together. Um, but if you absolutely have to do it with somebody that you work with on a daily basis, then just remember that that could go horribly wrong if anything changed. If like all of a sudden you guys step whatever, just keep that in mind. And that could affect your performance and then your managers and your department heads could see that and that could be a way to get you out of there. So just, you gotta remember. So the when you're on a ship, it's a different environment. It's not like you're, you know, you and, and Jim at the office or you and Becky at the office like get together on the weekends and then, you know, at work it's like, okay, we can do it. Like the people that you work with on the ship, you work and live with them. You see them all the time. So just remember that because it's not like, oh man, I'm, I, I'm not gonna see her anymore. It's like, no, you will, unless they sign off. So just keep that in mind. So that, that kind of answers the question quickly. Um, to go into a little bit more detail with this, uh, remember, as I said in the in one of my other videos about how to get fired, is that if you would do anything like that with a guest, that is an immediate cause for termination. So your fellow crew members, it's it's fair game. Treat it as a, uh, I'm trying to think of ways to put this without it sounding like when you go on. I I what I consider it on ships. Think of it like dog years. They say for every one year a dog is alive, it's really seven human years. Ships is kind of like that too. If you have a relationship with somebody and say that you've been together intimately for one week, it's the equivalent of like a month on land. So it's just everything is spread up. So so sometimes you hang out with somebody, you know, one night and it's just one night, maybe two nights. And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you guys are, are official or not official. Or you just kind of take that next step. Don't be surprised if things happen quicker than they usually do just because of the, the, the environment of the ship to begin with. They, everything is done so much differently than it is on land. So don't think that just means, oh yeah, this is so easy, man. I can get with anybody or it, it, it's just that type of environment. Everything is sped up because the amount of time you spend with people, it seems like it's a lot longer. So a month on a cruise ship is like a year in real life if you are in a relationship. Another thing to keep in mind, and this is kind of like a warning. So when it comes to getting involved in relationships on the ship, I would kind of keep your smarts about you and maybe not be so naive about things. And the reason why I say this is because there's a lot of two-timing, a lot of uh, shady businesses that happen on board. Um, so, uh, example, somebody, you know, there might be a couple, a guy and a girl, they might um, start hanging out, you know, oh, we're, we're, we're nice, oh, blah, 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 blah. You know, the girl's very happy, the guy's kind of, you know, he's happy too, but it turns out that the guy has a family off the ship. Now, ships kind of, like I said before, they're their own environment. They have their own way of things. Sometimes they're completely cut off from the rest of the world. So that guy can have that family 
at home and nobody knows. There's been so many times that I've heard stories where a guy was dating somebody or a girl was dating somebody and then they had this whole other life at home, a family, kids, all this stuff, and the person that they were dating didn't know. Sometimes they wind up saying, oh, that person signed off and I never heard from them again, found them on Facebook, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, this guy has this whole life or this lady has this whole life or she has a boyfriend or he has a girlfriend or a wife, husband, you know, kids. There's a lot of stuff like that that goes on. So not to say that you shouldn't trust anybody when you're on board, but maybe not completely like, oh my God, this person is so nice to me, they love me, I'm gonna be so nice to them, and then it's like, oh, shocker. Another thing that happens is two people are on a ship together, you know, maybe they don't have a significant other, that's secret, they just kinda have each other. One of them has already been on the ship for three months, and the other one signed on two weeks ago, and they already are together, so they're gonna sign off at different times. That one person's gonna sign off, maybe he promises to come back in a month after his vacation. He signs off, the girl's still here, or the boy's still here, and when he signs off, whoever came back on, whoever signs on, they kind of move on and have a new relationship because it's like, oh, you're not here on the ship anymore, it doesn't matter. Um, or they sign off to go to another ship and they start another relationship and this person's on this ship. And again, it's you could be on two different ships with each other and there could be two different relationships going on as well as the relationship that you're in with each other and nobody's going to know because there's just all these ways. So I know there's probably some of you that are thinking, oh man, that's, that sounds awesome. And it's like, if that's your thing, cool. But just remember that there are people that, that it, it hurts them. It destroys them. Like they are in this intense environment to begin with where everything is super stressful, super fast paced, super just everything is at like a hundred. And something like that happens and it's not it's not so good. Um, some people it happens too often and they wind up developing this kind of thick skin where they just might be grumpy. So there's just kind of these things to consider. I know it's not like the the best thing. Like, oh yeah, you can go on, on board and you could start, you know, sleeping with all these people. It's like, it happens. Um, there's been a lot of you know, a lot of secrets, a lot of uh, a lot of two timing, a lot of things like that that happen, and it's sad, but that's just kind of the that's kind of the atmosphere. That's kind of the way it goes. That's ship life, they say, and it's not not the best. It's not very um, encouraging. It doesn't make you feel confident if you do find somebody on board. Um, so there's always that. Good news on that though is uh, I met my wife. She was a fellow crew member too. So I mean, we've been together for over five years now. We've been married for a year, uh, over a year now. So there's good things that come from it, but there is also a lot of crap. So just kind of, just a little bit of hope for you if you're if you're worried like, oh man, what if I do find somebody and I really liked them? It's like, it's not to say everybody's bad. There's just, there's a lot of it. So just kind of keep your guard up. Uh, don't be, don't be naive. Don't be so innocent. Uh, just be prepared. And uh, that's kind of my 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 warning, but also not like I don't want to hold you back. I want you to learn. I want you to experience some things. But just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Don't be like, oh my god, I can't believe that this guy was like a two time in me, or I can't believe this girl had a boyfriend at home. It's like it's expected. And and the sad part is, is that'll happen, and you'll be like all pissed off about it, and say it to somebody who's been on ships for a while, and they'll look at you and go, hey, that ships. That's that's the way it is. Sorry to end on a down note, but I just wanted to kind of put it out there that that's kind of what people are asking. So I figured I'd give some information about relationships on board and, and, and what the ins and outs to them are and, and how it works and if you're able to and what the downside is of them. So if you have any questions about relationships, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, head on over to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash John Gleason Comedy and uh, check it out there. Like the page. And uh, I got some more videos on their way. So if you have any suggestions for videos or any other questions, leave them in the comments below as well. So once again, this is John. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.